Hello, my name is Rob Machado and I work with the University of Maine Cooperative Extension and today we are here to talk about hand washing. Hand washing is one, if not the most important thing you can do, both for personal hygiene and food safety as well. Some farms will offer some type of permanent hand wash station like this one you guys can see here. If that is available, that's great, you should use it. But if it's not, that's fine. You can use some type of portable hand wash station like this one we can see here. It's provided with a five gallon container of water, use portable water always, a bucket to catch the waste water as well. There's always should be available soap and disposable paper towels. And it's also a good idea to have some type of container like another bucket to catch the trash. Just as farmers should wash their hands before starting to work, gleaners should also wash their hands before starting to work for the day. But not all hand washing is the same, so to help you do it properly, we have five steps that you should follow. For step one, you should first wet your hands, not go straight for the soap. A lot of people skip this step, but it's very important to get your hands wet first. Then for step two, you're going to apply the soap. Then for step three, you're going to scrub your hands for between 15 and 20 seconds. That's usually enough time to sing happy birthday twice in your mind. And remember to scrub between your fingers, your thumbs, and also your wrists. And then for step four, you are going to rinse all the suds away. And for step five, you are going to dry your hands with some disposable paper towels. And then after that, you throw away in a trash can. Before I start cleaning, you should always check to see if the beans you are going to use for harvest are clean. They don't need to be washed with soap and water, but they should be at least clean of visible soil. And then after that, when you're using the container during the cleaning, you should avoid direct contact with the bare soil. That is to try to avoid cross-contamination from the soil to the bins. Some of these beans might have holes and some soil you could get through those holes to whatever you are harvesting, especially if you drag them around the soil. Some solutions, you could use a clean tarp to put your beans on top, or even more easy, you could use another bean that you put in the soil and then you put another bean on top of that where you are going to put your harvested produce. That way we avoid direct contact with the soil. Thank you very much for listening. I believe with these two tips together, proper hand washing and proper care for the harvesting bins, we can together make our produce safer.